A longtime professor at the University of Minnesota is turning a page on his highly respected career. A few days ago, he played his final concert as a member of the U's faculty, but he says encore performances are still to come. Fox Science Leah Bino has more on his impact on the U's music program and what's next. From the moment he plays his first note, the talent pouring through Professor Dean Bill Meyer through his fingertips to his toes is obvious to everyone in his audience, especially his students. God, I really wish I could do something like that one day. <laughs> Bill Meyer started teaching at the University of Minnesota 41 years ago after learning to play the piano, but falling in love with the organ as a child. And the organ just had all this color and imagination to the sound. And of course, with, with a good organ, you can play really, really loud. And uh, that, that sense of, uh, I think that sense of presence and power really turned me on and got me motivated uh, to practice again. The opportunity to teach at the U came at just the right time. To be frank, uh, uh, organ professorships at American universities were quite rare at the time. There are not a lot of vacancies, and that's still very much the case. Michael Barone from NPR and host of the four decades long radio show Pipe Dreams has been recognized nationally for his own contribution to the world of organ music. He recalls sitting in the audience for Bill Meyer's very first performance at the U. Dean came and uh, his inaugural recital opened with uh, an arrangement of the Meistersinger Overture of Wagner, which is the sort of music that this organ plays spectacularly well, and Dean played it spectacularly well. So we thought, hmm, good choice, happy to have you. From there, Bill Meyer spent four decades not only teaching hundreds of students you. and earning international accolades, but also playing a key role in raising appreciation and funding to get the Northrop's treasured historic organ restored back in the 90s. Can you play a few notes? Just da da da, just. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Most people have never laid hands on an organ, especially of this caliber. Their size with pipes hidden in the walls makes them difficult to access. It's an incredibly complicated instrument to play. From my perspective and for much more well-trained musicians, this seat is rather intimidating. It is a world that we have to really fight to, to keep. I mean, actual pipe organs are getting, unfortunately, more and more rare. And they're not being categorically built in new churches. And so, I mean, what Dean did to to fight for and raise money for and to raise awareness of this incredible instrument here. I mean, that is an, a, a legacy that is just spectacular. While his time as a faculty member is coming to a close, Bill Meyer very much plans to continue to accept invitations to play at his church, the Minnesota Orchestra, St. Paul Symphony Orchestra, along with being a continued advisor to the university, all while helping his future successor find the right footing. I'm actually the most proud of, of, um, of this instrument, but also of, this, of the several hundreds of, of students that I've, that I've had uh, over the years. Leah Bino, Fox Now. What a career to go to oh, retire doing gosh. something you love like that. That looks like the most daunting musical instrument oh. in the world to <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah, I took piano lessons. The organ is very oh, intimidating. I played trombone for mm, Maybe 17 three days. days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got through Mary Had a Little Lamb and thought, not for me. You're not a candidate for <laughs> organ practice. No, absolutely not. Oh, congratulations. Well, a busy sport.